Republican South Carolina Congressman Trey Gowdy joining us now in these fast moving developments. So much we don't know, Congressman. I appreciate you taking the time. Uh, yes, sir. What, you know, in that void, uh, and you've seen and, and, and uh, obviously well aware of the selling across markets all over the world, our own included, that people are getting nervous. Should they be? Well, I'm not an epidemiologist. Uh, I am the son of a physician, and my advice to my fellow citizens would be twofold. Be just as vigilant um, as you always should be, even during flu season. But more importantly, uh, this virus does not care what your political ideation is. This virus doesn't care what your nationality is. If there's anything that ought to be unifying in this country, it should be a desire for the world and our country specifically to be safe from this virus. So it breaks my heart to see it politicized. I guess everything is politicized in our modern culture. But but just be vigilant and, and, and take precautions, but don't be... Um, alarmed unnecessarily. All right. So when you look at what you've uh, and heard what you've heard thus far, uh, and the way markets have sold off and gone into correction territory, uh, the fastest they've ever in, in the past. Are you worried? Just taking a look at that economic impact, that it's way way overdone, and that we could actually psych ourselves in, in, into a recession. Well, Neil, you're an expert on the stock market. Uh, I'm way too poor uh, to, <laughs> to, to be an expert on the stock market. I, I, do, I do think, you know, I think Mickey the other day told folks to turn off their television for 24 hours, and Schumer criticized him for it. I think Mickey's point is um, there are lots of things to be worried about in the world. And, and when you focus a disproportionate amount of attention on this, with the morbidity and mortality rates actually not being any higher than the flu and lower than SARS and MERS, then yes, you can create this narrative. I mean, I, everywhere I go, people are talking about the coronavirus. Last yeah. night I was in North Carolina, they're talking about it, but, 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 but the flu kills more people every year, and you're we right. don't talk about the flu in the same way. All right, I assume you're talking about Mick Mulvaney, the acting chief of staff, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, let me get your thoughts, by the way. The president looks like he's ready to select... Uh, Again, Texas Representative John Ratcliffe to be his intelligence chief. Um, some are saying, really, again, uh, but he obviously has his reasons. What do you think? I think John Ratcliffe was a phenomenal pick six months ago. I think it's an even better pick now. Johnny was right on the FISA abuse. Johnny was, was validated, ratified by Michael Horowitz's report. Uh, he was the chief of the anti-terrorism. He was a a United States attorney, I served with him. Uh, he had a meteoric rise in the House because people on both sides of the aisle trust his legal acumen, um, and he's a, a, a fantastic human being. And what I hate about the modern political environment is the Democrats who know better. They know him to be competent. They know him to be a person of character. But in this environment, you can't pop your head up and say so. So I hope Johnny stays in it. I hope he defends himself uh, this time around, and I think he's going to be confirmed. All right, they say that back then when he was first bandied about that he's not qualified, you say? I mean, you got a guy who was the mayor in Indiana running to be the leader of the free world. I mean, you had Kamala Harris, whose resume is not any, any damn better than Johnny Ratcliffe's, and they want to be the person who picks the DNI. So, I mean, help me understand how you can be the mayor in South Bend and be the leader of the free world and pick the DNI, but Johnny Ratcliffe is a former U.S. attorney on the Judiciary Committee, Homeland Security, a cybersecurity expert, and oh, by the way, on House Intel, but he's somehow not qualified qualified to run the DNI. I, it's just it's staggering logic to me. All right. Congressman, thank you very much. Good catching up with you. Be well. Yes, sir. You too. Thank you.